Hey, I'm Matt Jones, and this is Pensacola's Paradise, the weekly video series where we bring you the people, places, and things that make Pensacola and our surrounding area such an amazing place to live. Hey, I'm with Robbie Schrock this week of the Santa Rosa Island Authority. She's the Director of Administration. Robbie, tell us what is new at the beach. What's going on? Well, thanks for having me, first of all. Um, we have a lot of new exciting things. Um, you know, spring break is currently underway, and mm -hmm. then I know we're full of steam ahead into uh, the summer season. Right. Um, you probably will notice the couple new parking lots that we have out here. Uh, one we have, um, which will be just west of the of the uh, sheriff substation okay. over here. So um, more parking for patrons to come to CBB, the Casino Beach Bar and mm -hmm. Grill, or just park and enjoy the beach. Also at the old visitor center, um, that building has been demolished and there are additional parking stalls over there as well. Thank goodness, I know we needed the parking. Yes, it's Seem always a hot topic out here. <laughs> Good, seems like the new layout of the main parking lot is going well. Yes, I believe so. I think the one way in, one way out gives people a, a clear direction of where to go and it seems to have been working very well. Good. Well. Um, I know there's, you told me some things are changing as far as businesses down here. What light can you shed on that? Yeah, so um, the Days Inn is now gonna be known as the Best Western Beachside mm -hmm. Resort. Okay. Um, they have a lovely new splash pad for kids, nice. as well as um, a nice new restaurant called Fish Heads. Okay. So if you haven't checked that out, it is such an awesome place. It's so family friendly, and it's definitely something that um, you know you wanna check out. Um, we also have a new uh, restaurant under construction you may see. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, right beside Redfish Bluefish. It's going to be called Jellies. Okay. And we're very, very excited to see what they have to offer and um, have another wonderful restaurant out here on the beach. Fantastic. Okay. Um, now, it's spring break time now. I know we've got bands on the beach coming up. Of course, the Blue Angel show is always huge. We're going to talk a little bit more of those about those. What else is uh, coming up as far as events down at the beach? Well, I feel like we have uh, something for everyone every single weekend booked right. out. There's always lovely 5Ks and half marathons, our annual Shry Try. Uh, one exciting event happening over on the boardwalk um, towards the end of April is the Crawfish Festival. Mm -hmm. And so make sure you go check that out. Um, check out Bamboo Willie and um, they, can, they can give you all the details about that. Um, of course, we have the visitors. Uh, information center right here at Casino Beach and so I really encourage you to whether you're a local or you're just visiting the area stop in there and say hello to everyone and go get one of the visitors guides and a okay. map and a, they'll be sure to help you uh, find your way around the island and see uh, what events that you might like to attend. All right so that was going to be my next question for somebody who wants to plan a trip or even a local that just wants to know what's happening their best resources at that visitor center? Yes sir, visitor center or give them a call 850-932-1500. They also have a Facebook page. Okay. Uh, Pensacola Beach Chamber of Commerce is also a good um, place to go check out to see uh, on their social media you can see all of the fun things happening on Pensacola Beach. Fantastic, well thanks for getting us up to date. So nice yes, to sir. talk to you. You too.